Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science and today I'm going to take a look at some of my favourite heat styling materials. Products that not only help style the hair but protect it from heat apparatus as well. As a chemist I know there are a lot of choices out there for styling materials and also materials that can provide heat protection. As a consumer I know what I'm looking for in a product when I'm looking at a product that's making claims of heat styling protection. I'm looking to see that that product has good humidity resistance, that it's able to hold my style well under real world conditions, that I can style effectively with it and that my hair will feel soft and non tacky after I've used it. It also helps if it can create a flexible hold, especially for curly hairstyles, including high humidity conditions. Unfortunately, we see all too many products out there making these sort of claims and consumers will often jump from brand to brand searching for materials that will give them the results they're truly looking for. This video will show you some of my favourite materials to get the best heat styling results. Before I show you my favourite materials, let me just explain why humidity resistance is so hard to achieve yet so important. On this screen you can see the different types of hair bonding. The hydrogen bonding is the most important form that we're breaking and reforming when we use heat styling apparatus. As you can see hydrogen bonding relies on hydrogen bonds and when you heat the hair you are effectively moving the strands into another position that your polymer then holds. However if there is a lot of humidity in the air, a lot of H2O, it will break and reform the hydrogen bonds and reduce the styling power. In this slide you can see just how much damage heat styling apparatus does to the hair. On the left hand side at the top we have Asian untreated and unheated hair. On the right hand side at the top we have an image of Caucasian blonde untreated and unheated hair. At the bottom of each of these images you can then see when the hair has been treated with a heat styling apparatus. You can see the cuticles have been lifted dramatically and hair will start to lose its strength and moisture. These lifted cuticles will also cause friction and cause the hair to tangle more easily. The hair will also lose its shine and becomes rougher. Continued damage like this will then turn into split ends and hair breakages. So, how do heat activated repair materials work? Healthy hair is normally very hydrophobic. You can see an example in the diagram on the left in this slide of damaged hair. Damaged hair is represented with those pink hydrophilic portions because healthy hair is normally hydrophobic and wouldn't have these hydrophilic portions. Remember where the hydrophilic portions exist you're going to get moisture losses and roughness causing friction and other damage. At the bottom of this slide you can see the heat styling agent represented with yellow ovals and orange circles representing polymeric portion and hydrophilic portion of the heat activated materials. The yellow portions represent the high molecular weight polymer backbone while the orange circles represent the hydrophilic portions of the heat styling material. When applied to the hair the hydrophilic portions the orange circles will adsorb to the hydrophilic portions of the hair while the polymeric backbone is heat activated to then form the very protective film you see in the right hand diagram at the top. Different Materials use different polymeric backbones and hydrophilic absorptive materials and this is what gives each of these materials different performance results but they all use a similar chemistry to provide their heat protective benefits. Heat activated styling materials are materials that are actually activated by the presence of the heat to protect the hair. They serve dual functionality of protecting their hair and styling it. So you're getting the benefits of two materials in one. Finding a fantastic heat activated repair agent was something that was very important to me because I do heat style my hair. So what I did was I tested eight different materials and this video will showcase 
my four favourites for you to apply in your lab and your developments as well. What we did as well, we tested on Caucasian hair, my hair very uh, damaged from colouring processes, and also Asian hair that has been damaged by perming processes. Both sets of hair were over 20 centimetres in length, and I made gels from the materials, just like this one, because different materials uh, work in some sprays and some materials need to set into a gel or too viscous to be used in a spray type product. So the base formula for all eight materials that I tested was exactly the same. I then applied exactly the same amount of product to a very carefully sectioned piece of hair on both myself and my assistant's hair. And then we heat styled it with a GHD iron. We used three passes on each strand of hair because this better replicated the true damage that a consumer does when they style their hair with heating apparatus. We did this test over a couple of days but monitored the temperature and the humidity very carefully and then we tested over four hours to see how the products um, kept the style in the hair. We also sent the samples of the hair off for analysis so that you can see whether it truly protected the hair or not. Finally, the end results were evaluated for heat protection, frizz reduction, and the ability to hold the style in the hair. So now, let's take a look at my four favourites. The first of my favourites was Merquot 2001 by Lou Brazol. This provided the best heat protection, and you can see images of the Asian and Caucasian hair and the protection this material provided. This material will suit pump sprays, setting lotions, creams, gels, aerosol and pump mousse and hair treatment products. It provided excellent heat protection and reduced frizz, but this does not provide any styling hold. So while it was my favourite for heat protection, you would need to use a styling polymer to get styling hold. My favourite material to provide good heat protection, particularly on Caucasian hair, and also great hold when the hair was straightened, was Luviquat Supreme AT1 by BASF Care Creations. This particular material provided excellent heat protection and reduced frizz. It also provided an excellent hair feel, but for me it didn't hold the style as well as I would have liked when I curled my hair. It was, however, particularly effective at holding the straight style. In this slide, you can see how this material performed over the four hour test period. At the top, you can see how the material helped reduce frizz. You can see that the starting time, the hair uh, was able to splay out but after four hours, the hair was still held quite well together. So this is an indication that it had good frizz control. The bottom images show how curl was retained over the four hour period. And while the Asian hair was permed and therefore held curl better in general, the Caucasian hair was straight hair naturally. And you can see the curl did not hold. But the frizz and ability to hold the straight hairstyle was excellent as well as the heat protection. For straight hair styles, Luviquot Supreme AT1 was our product of choice. It also has a beautiful soft feeling on the hair after styling. Another of my favourites for Caucasian hair was Revcare Natural Effects by Itaconics. What I particularly like about this material, yes, it provided good heat protection and you can see that in the electron image there. It also provided good style retention for both straight and curly hairstyles and also kept the frizz at a minimum over the four hour test period. But what really makes this product stand out is it's from natural sources. So if you are formulating or developing a product that you want to make natural or naturally derived claims about, this is the material of choice for you. And now for my absolute favourite, Bakuzan C1008 by Covestro. This material really impressed me because it had fantastic frizz control. It also held both straight and curly styles especially well. 
You can see on this slide how it forms a really flexible film, which enables you to create curly styles, hold the curl in the style, but still have a very flexible bounce to the hair. This material suits aerosol and pump sprays, setting lotions, creams, gels, aerosol and pump mousse, and hair treatment products. This material works by expanding with heat and it shrinks on cooling to give that fabulous flexible hold. In this side at the top you can see the protection it provides from heat. At the bottom of this slide you can see its ability to reduce frizz and hold straight even in permed Asian hair. In this slide you can see its outstanding results to reduce frizz and hold curl in Caucasian straight hair as well. While all of the top four were my favourite materials, the Bakuzan C1008 was my absolute favourite. What I loved about this particular product was its ability to hold curl and as you can see it's quite a flexible style with a lot of bounce back. My hair is not stiff at all, it feels lovely and soft, I, I don't have to spray my hair with extra styling product, just Bakers NC1008 has been able to hold this type of curl, even in humid conditions. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation and now have some favourite heat styling activated materials that you're going to try out in your lab and in your next developments. Happy formulating!